Hi guys, welcome to Foresta Studio. Today, I'm gonna do this artwork. Okay, so step number one, we're gonna import the model. This is the Chaos Cosmos model. If you download it, the there's a sci file, you got this folder and the model. Extract file. Okay, so you're gonna find this one and just drag and drop. Mm -hmm. Run the test. Okay, working fine. Very good. Now we're gonna re the soil surface. A rectangle, let's say. meter I think 10 meters okay by 10 meters reverse phase and then prove it so we already have right here the soil material explode pick and pan to this Looking good. I think around 2000 is okay. For example, let me set up the, the output. Okay, just leave it. And the camera, something like this one. I think a bit further like this yep think so and then we are gonna add one more scene and by the way I will set up the Sun direction sunlight okay activate this one the vertical angle is around 30 and this one we want to stay right here Yeah, so we have the direction from the back or maybe from the right is better yep that's it okay so step number two we're gonna scatter this model all over the soil surface by a tool inside SketchUp it was integrated in very SketchUp it's called the scatter scatter so just select this soil surface and hit this button yep something happened right here and we have the scatter object right here then I'm gonna move this this size and we're gonna select this model and add Yes, it's only working with the Chaos Cosmos. As you can see right here, we have the uh, the icon of Chaos Cosmos. Cannot work with the resin. I mean, uh, the external resin we export and import to SketchUp from 3D Max cannot work. I'm sorry. I hope they can fix this mistake later. And that's it. Mm, let me see. We have the density. Let's try a test to see how. Perhaps we need more density. Oh, I think this this fine. This working fine. This working fine. And now we just simply choose a another camera angle. For example, this one. Yep. 
because down below they was automatically set up everything for us. Perhaps we would like to emphasize the scale a bit more. Sorry, 0 0.7. Yeah, something like this one. Okay. Okay, step number three. We're gonna activate the depth of view effect to uh, to make this image even more interesting. But first, because this rendering now is look way too dark, so we're gonna add one more exposure and level up the exposure. As you can see, some area looks way too burned. So just simply a famous tone map. And then it's automatically balanced everything for us. No need. Yep. Right now, I would like to focus to this area only. It means we have the clear area and this is the blurry area so because we don't have anything to focus on we need to draw something and then we can delete later so this box represent to these bushes yep and the camera tab activate that view I'm gonna increase to uh, I think the maximum to see is clear I, I don't think so 0 0.9 is okay and fix distance focus to this one It's working but actually we picked not so close to the the pushes so it should be here mm -hmm. clearer better yep and I'll turn this back to uh, 0.4 or maybe 0 0.5 okay looking good now we don't need this box anymore Okay, step number four. I think this sun direction looks way too sunset. I would like to have uh, something more goes to morning. So maybe level it up to 45. Looks better, much better. And then run a final render in the output. Go to 2K. 2560 very good then for step number five I'm gonna show you how to turn this image to this one we bring it to another level by Lightroom so I have here the image was open in Lightroom first I would like to have a darker tone so exposure go down the highlights go down shadow goes up white goes up and the black goes down okay the clarity can be a bit higher the haze a bit higher 
And down below, this is the most interesting. We pick three points. One, two, and three. And level it up to get the dark sulfur. Okay. Looks better. And down below, thanks to this ring, we just simply level it out. Ah, immediately as you can see, relax our eyes. Then, can a bit higher. For the yellow tone, can be a bit more saturation. Very good. Now we we can add one more, the vignette. The vignette. Here. Vignette effect. Okay. Much better. So, before and after. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. I hope you will find it useful for your job. The link for the SSI in my Patreon at the description below. Thank you for watching and see you until the next time. Bye-bye.